Maybe that's why he's not here today. <laughs> he's out in the unemployment line. Yeah. Do they give the horror host line. unemployment? I don't know. They might give him like food stamps or something. <laughs> Maybe like old rations of like popcorn from old destitute theaters. Yeah. But as I said earlier, I hear he's going to take his mask off. That's what I hear. He's so. also supposed to have all of his... Uh, his friends here, too. Yeah, he's supposed to have the guy that played the Candyman in the movie The Candyman. Yeah, he's supposed to be here and all of his crazy, wacky friends. The ones he calls the freaks. That's right. And we're not talking about his in-laws <laughs> or mine. No, so, but that's going to be in two weeks from today, mm -hmm. April 14th. It'll be the 13th year anniversary. We've only been around here for a year, so... Yeah. I can't even... So that means he started when he was a little night shadow, little right? Little bitty night shadow. <laughs> Growing up, watching Elvira, becoming yeah. hooked. And uh, what was that other one in town here, the L.A. horror host? Dr. I can't remember. Morpheus? Yeah, something like that. Well, there's there's Doug Graves, who's in California. Yeah, he does horror radio, KDOA on Life Yeah, 65. and there's Dr. Morpheus. I wonder if we're going to have any of uh, Night Shadow's horror host friends show up, other than you they supposedly should. supposedly saying Elvira's going to show up. Elvira is going to be here. I, I'm telling you, if Elvira's not here... I will run in front of the camera naked. No, I won't. If, if Elvira's not here... No, no, here, no, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. No. He will streak... No, no. ...on live television. And then get thrown off of Adelphia <laughs> like I got thrown off of Live 365. I don't think so. The, the audience is not ready for that. Okay. They'd have to get the wide-angle lens. Oh, please. But Elvira will be here. I, I swear. I guarantee you. She will come to Adelphia, Lying. and she will be here live and in person. Lying. Both of them. No. Both of them. Oh. Well. Hey. See, the, the guys in the back room, they're waiting. They're getting out their autograph books. Well, they don't get much, you know, there's Renee here every week, and that's pretty much it as far as, as tail. Yeah. So. Well, it's a lonely life here to the Adelphi students. <laughs> yeah. But these guys back here, they get more action than I do. I just know they do. Do they? Have I you do. asked them? I don't know. Do you guys get a lot of action back there? See? <laughs> I told you. I know what's going on back there. I mean, I can hear what's going on back there right now. They might, to, you know, sometimes maybe that's why we, we can't ever get back there or hear anything from yeah. them. They're busy. You know that lube they use on the end of the coax cables to give you cable? They use it for other things too <laughs> you, here at the studio. You had to, you're on, you're on live television. I am? Oh my God. <laughs> curb, curb. Okay, never mind. It's not going to do any good. But that one person in East L.A. that's watching this show, he'll understand. <laughs> as he has his 47 relatives living in his house. Right? They're going to come down and lynch you. And that person's name is Cheech Marin. Oh, Cheech. I love Cheech. God. He's on tour again. He's, hey, he's going to be doing a movie again with Tommy Chong because Tommy got out of prison. And that's a good reason Wasn't to do Wasn't that messed up? Tommy Chong got put away for selling bongs. Now, first of all, what would you expect Tommy Chong to sell? <laughs> Yeah, he's going to sell Girl Scout cookies. No, I don't think so. Well, that's like, remember in his comedy routine, he says something about, oh, what do you, a police officer arrest him, he goes, what are you going to do, give me publicity? I mean, <laughs> that's what people know him for. Yeah, I mean, God. You know, it's sad, though, because Cheech has gotten so conservative. Tommy is still Tommy. Uh, I've got a great story. We went to see Tommy Chong, mm -hmm. and we were there with my wife, and he's got this routine to where he plays a dog, and we were kind of sitting in the front row. Right. My wife was sitting there, a big Tommy Chong fan, and he come over, and he proceeded to start humping her head like a dog would, and she was shocked. You know, that guy is strong. She couldn't even get out of his grip. We need to get Tommy Chong on this show. Oh, I hey. want to see him hump some heads over here. Well, all the guys in Adelphia, they've got all the drugs back there, so I'm sure he'll come here. <laughs> I'm lying. We're I'm kidding. kidding. <laughs> this is a no drug facility. I know they made Especially me take. Especially when Night Shadow's not here. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be. They made me take the P test. They did? Just to be on this show. Nice. That's high quality television. Yeah, but see, Cheech has gotten like all ultra conservative. And well, yeah, he worked as a cop on a TV show too, so yeah. I mean, I'm sure that helped. You know, the guy that played the Hulk. Lou Ferrigno yeah, is Luke now Luke. a cop for L.A. Him and Bobby Sherman. Bobby Sherman. Does anybody <laughs> remember Bobby Sherman? <laughs> yeah, you, because you listen to Funky Fresh Bob. <laughs> but Bobby Sherman did uh, Little Woman and mm -hmm. uh, Julie, Do You Love and Me? Here comes the He's bride. a cop. Imagine like, uh, he's really kind of like a paramedic. He's a cop paramedic. Mm -hmm. and, and imagine like if you were a Bobby Sherman fan, you passed out. He starts giving you mouth to mouth. You wake up and there's Bobby Sherman. 
Wow. Wow. Unless it was David Cassidy. Which one was better, David Cassidy or Bobby Sherman? Probably Bobby Sherman. Why? I don't know. You're a Prince fan. You don't like either one. <laughs> Let's not even get started on Prince. You only have four minutes left in the show. Oh, look. I had a sex change. Look at that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh -oh. oh, look at that. <laughs> I have boobies. I've always wanted boobies. What would you, I don't even want to ask I, I what you would do. I feel fresh and alive. <laughs> These guys back there, they're way too bored. Okay. <laughs> well, you only Forget have Steven Spielberg. Close Encounters, they have nothing on the special effects. Special These guys effects in Adelphia. That's right. <laughs> yeah. They work hard for those big bucks they get back there. I think it actually might be Night Shadow and Renee back there. That's what I'm thinking. I think they set us up. You know, there was a movie where uh, it was Frankenhooker. Yeah. Where it had like a, a guy's head and a woman's body. Yep. Also, Dr. Jekyll and Miss Hyde did that. Yeah. So, anyway, we want to remind everybody again, since we only have three minutes left. Three minutes, three minutes left. left. Count them. One, One two, two three. three. To tune in, not next week, because mm. next week... They're off next there, week. There's, there's no show. <laughs> um, but April 14th. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the 13th year anniversary. Write it in your diary. I want everybody to go on the Night Shadows website yeah. and barrage him with emails. Is it horrorkungfutheater.com? Horrorkungfutheater.com, yeah. yeah. And everybody email him, tell him that you're uh, <laughs> looking forward to 13 years of major sucking, as the guys at Adelphia so kindly put it. <laughs> These guys better know that Night Shadow brings them donuts. You know, he was supposed to last time he didn't show up, and he didn't. And now Why he didn't not? show up again. Where are our freaking donuts? That's what I want to know. He's out eating those freaking donuts. I only donuts come right here now. for the donuts. I haven't gotten one donut since I've been uh. here. I mean, you can tell by looking at me, I come here for the donuts. But seriously, though, everybody should go on the website and email Nightshadow because to be on 13 years and to keep on doing what he's doing, that's a major achievement. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be on for 13 years, that's longer than the Brady Bunch. Right. That's longer than the Partridge family. Yeah. I don't know how he But did. I don't know. What if Night Shadow doesn't show up? He'll He's be missing. Here. He's we missing. Will, we would drag his horror host butt to the studio. If you know where Night Shadow was today, send us an email. We it's could the play great Where's, where's Night, Shadow. Night Shadow game. Yeah, it's like it, where's, where's Waldo? Waldo? But where's Night Shadow? Yeah. I don't know, he just didn't show up. He's over there spying on Butch Patrick. I know what he's doing. That, he's probably stealing props from the show so that he can make his 13th year anniversary special look better. Yeah. That's probably what it is. I mean, 13 years, he's got to do something crazy. I'd tune in just to see what he's going to do. Well, he probably invested, you know, a whole two bucks. Yeah. I'm sure, at least. He's going to take the mask off. <laughs> that's something. Yeah. And we're going to have the candy man here. And oh, it's not Sammy Davis Jr. Unfortunately. Yeah. And hopefully Carl Crew as well from Blood yeah. Diner. But anyway, it's been fun. I'm Terry Dufoe. And I'm Tiffany Dufoe. And this is Horror Kung Fu Theater without the Horror Kung Fu people. Without the horror host. They'll be horror back. Horror host show without a horror host. We got rid of them. I have him gagged in my car. We called Guido, and he did his job so we could take over the show. But I think he might be back, so make sure you stay tuned. And everybody, tune in to Cult Radio GoGo -Go at cultradiogogo.com. And That's thanks right. for viewing the show today. Yeah. It's been fun. Yeah. Thank you, Adelphi guys. Yeah, they're my buddies. <laughs> I love them. You love them. I'm taking them to lunch.